Liam, uh, you're coming off of a fifth place finish at the NCAA West South Central Regional, um, finishing three under 213. Uh, what do you, um, how do you feel after that? You know, qualifying for uh, as an individual for the national championships. Yeah, it was it was it's a weird feeling because I want to be part of the team going to nationals, and unfortunately we didn't make it there. Uh, but being able to put in a good performance and potentially my last event, um, that's all I was trying to do. My parents were there watching as well, so. I just wanted to put on a good show for them. And then at the end, when it came down to it and I was announced as a, as a finalist for the Nationals, it was, it, was, it, was, it was still a weird feeling, just the guys were down and I was down as well, but just knowing that I've got one more, one more chance to, to play for CSU Pueblo, it was good from there. And, and then, uh, as you mentioned before, um, you being the lone representative from CSU Pueblo, um, how do you feel um, going into the tournament? I'm excited. Um, it's, it's an honor to represent CSU Pueblo one more time. Um, I'm going to do it for the boys, I'm going to do it for coach. Um, but yeah, I've just been trying to keep keep grinding through this week. It's tough when there's no guys here and I'm on my own, but um, just trying to keep everything really um, good and just not like slacking in any department. And then uh, the championships are going to be held on the May 22nd through the 24th at Avalon Lakes Country Club in Warren, Ohio. Um, what do you know of that course? I know it's obviously uh, unfamiliar, but what do you um, early thoughts? I've looked at it on Google Maps and Google Earth, so you can kind of get like a little 3D representation of it. Um, it looks pretty tight out there, similar to um, the regional tournament. Um, and then I've also spoke to a few people that are from Ohio, and they said it's pretty flat around there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I've looked at the course and worked out certain numbers and certain distances. So I've just been working on that this week, and um, yeah, hopefully it all, all comes together. And then um, on Saturday, as you said, when you did uh, learn of that you clinched uh, as an individual, that was the same day you also received your bachelor's degree from CSU Pueblo. Um, how were you feeling in that moment, just with everything going on that day and that that weekend? Yeah, it was it was just like relief of stress, just from grinding out the semester, both golf and academics. So knowing that I graduated and that just day just felt so free. I just had no worries. I just went out and had fun, and that's what my parents said. Especially my mom, she she always says just go out and have fun. It doesn't matter the score. So I kind of took that on board, and, and luckily I was able to shoot a good round as well. And how special was it with your parents being there to support you and in person and seeing you succeed? Yeah, that was that was amazing. Um, they said they had a great time, and I think just having that support, not having the support, obviously being from from a different country, is you never get your parents out here. So having them to watch me um, the day I graduated as well was. Um, I was just smiles all around and I was just enjoying myself and my parents loved it. Um, so yeah, they, they, they flew back yesterday, but they said it was the best time ever. So yeah. Awesome. Well, Liam Duncan, thank you and uh, good luck next week at the NCAA Championships. Thank you.